Hi guys, this is the Java series, part 82. Now let's discuss about how to write the content inside the specified file using the print writer class and string tokenizer class. Okay, we already discussed about the file output stream class. That is an output stream class used for writing the data into a file, isn't it? Now I am going to write the program to write the content inside the specified file using these three classes. Okay, first I import file output stream class java.io package file output stream class and then I import print writer class java.io dot print writer class okay and I import string tokenizer class that is present inside the utility package not io package okay so this is the name of the class inside this class i have created the main method here i have used the throws keyword okay and this is the inbuilt exception class now i create the object for file output stream My object name is f out. Whatever we want, we give. Here I have given f out. Okay. New keyword and the parameterized constructor for file output stream class. Inside the round brackets, I pass the path of the file, text to file. And I create the object for print writer class okay in order to write the content inside the file i create the object for the print writer class okay p out is the name of the object for print writer class and use the keyword and parameterized constructor for print writer class and inside the round brackets I pass the object of file output stream that is f out. Okay, up to this clear. Then I create the string tokenizer object. Okay, string tokenizer is the name of the class that is present inside the utility object. Now I create the object for string token. ST is the object name for string tokenizer. And then use the keyword and parameterized constructor for string tokenizer. And inside the round brackets, I pause the statement. Whatever you want, you give. Now I give health is wealth. Okay. So now I try to write these tokens. Token is nothing but what? The words okay so what is the usage of a string tokenizer class this class takes an input stream and pauses it into tokens okay allowing the tokens to be read one at a time i repeat it again the string tokenizer class takes an input stream and pauses it into tokens okay that is words and allowing the tokens to be read one at a time Okay, and then I implement the while loop. While st is the object for string tokenizer class, and inside the string tokenizer class, we have so many inbuilt methods. Now I use the hash more tokens inbuilt method. Okay, so what is the usage of this inbuilt method? This method returns Boolean value. Boolean value means it returns either true or false. Okay. This method returns false if there is no string inside this object. Okay. So now inside the while loop, I use the pout object. Pout is what? The object for print writer class. Okay. And 
print ln method. Inside the round brackets, I write the object for string tokenizer and inbuilt method next token. So, what is the usage of this inbuilt method? This method is used to write the token inside the specified file and moves the file pointer to the next token. Okay, this is the task for this inbuilt method. Okay, hash more tokens and next token. These two inbuilt methods are present inside the string tokenizer class. Okay, this method returns boolean value. It returns true if the string is present inside this object and this method returns false. There is no string present inside the st object. Okay, st is the object for string tokenizer class and next token returns the the next word or token from the given statement. Okay, and finally we have to close the f out. What is it? This is the object for file output string and p out. This is the object of the print writer class. Okay, we have to close these two objects in order to avoid the corruption. Okay, so this is the text file. Inside this file only I try to write this statement using the string tokenizer class. Inside this string tokenizer class we have the hash more tokens inbuilt method and next token inbuilt method. Okay, this method is used to check whether the word is present inside the object of string tokenizer class. Okay, and this method is used to move the file pointer to the next token. Okay, and after the execution of this while loop, all the tokens inside this object will be written inside this specified file. Okay, so system dot out dot print ln success. I save this program. Let me execute this one. Now success we got. That means this string is written inside the specified file using these three classes file output stream class print writer class and string tokenizer class now i check that file inside the d drive the file name is ab okay i open this one here health is wealth so we got the output okay health is one token is is one token and wealth dot dot this is the final token okay I hope you all understood the execution flow of the program. We have completed this session. If you have any doubts, drop the message in the comment section. If this video is useful to you, like and share. For more videos, subscribe my channel. Hit the bell icon, then only you will get the notification for my new updates. Have a nice day. Thank you.